Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. Today we're uh, just taking some of the best devotions out there, sharing them with you so that you can begin your day uh, just thinking about God, just meditating on Him. You know, it says perfect peace has those who love His law. Nothing can make them stumble. So our goal here is to help you to develop a love for the Word so that you can live and live well. Today we're in Connecting with God, the Lord's Prayer by Rick Warren. And uh, I want to talk to you about surrender, surrendering your future to God. Some people just like to micromanage every part of their life, and I get it. There's some peace for you in being in control. But surrender means that you leave your future to God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says it this way, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. What area of your life have you not surrendered to God? You know, I mean, think of your life as a house, right? Maybe you've surrendered the kitchen and the living room, but what about the bedroom of your life? What about the closet? What about the garage? Some of you may not have surrendered your sex life to God. You might say, I know it says sex is only for marriage, but I'm going to do it my way. And by the way, that's why you're under such stress and guilt. Uh, some of you have surrendered your fi- haven't may, maybe haven't surrendered your finances to God. You think, I know God says I should give the first 10% back to him, but I can't afford a tithe. That's why you're under stress. Some of you may not have surrendered your relationships to God. You might say, I know I should forgive that person who hurt me, but I'm not going to forgive them. That's why you're under stress. Some of you may not have surrendered a secret sin to God, or maybe it's a hurt, a habit, or a hang-up you haven't surrendered to God. But the most important thing is, have you surrendered your life to Jesus? See, because if you surrender your life to Jesus, you leave the future to God. Surrender is saying to God, the war is off. I'm not going to fight you on this anymore. I want serenity, not stress. The Bible says if we don't surrender, we're at war with God. Aren't you tired of being at war with God? Isn't it time to stop fighting against an unmovable force that there's no way that you're ever going to win? He gets the last word. Our day, He's the one who orders our days from the time that we're born to the time that we die. Surrendering to God is the ultimate expression of faith. So today I want to I want to just ask you, are you surrendered? What areas of your life have you held back? Have you failed to surrender to God and and why do you think that this unconfessed sin causes stress? This thing in the back of your mind that you're trying to handle that really if it's sin, only Jesus can deal with that. You'll never get forgiveness without him. And so your life is just going to continue to to spiral out of control without him. So what steps do you need to take today to surrender to God the very thing that causes you the most stress? We'll do that. That's what I'm praying for you today. Let me do it. Father, thank you so much for my friends. Help us today to surrender. Not to commit because we can decommit but to surrender. Because when we surrender, we're saying to you, God, I have no more ownership of this issue. I give it all over to you. That's the reason I believe, Father, the, you led Paul to write, I urge you, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. And don't be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove that which is the good, perfect, and pleasing will of God. So, Father, I pray this today in Jesus' name over my friends. Amen. Well, I do hope you have an incredible day. Love God. Love one another. Now, surrender. And as you do, go be salt and light.